This video is going through the calculations for the hypothesis test for the loon eggs. Remember, we have our formula for calculating the T statistic. It's Y bar, our sample mean, minus mu sub zero, some value we're testing against, divided by the standard deviation, divided by the square root of the number of observations. And so we have all of these values for the loon data when we can begin to calculate what the T statistic is. So this would equal 0 0.540. Remember that was our mean value for the average mercury content for the 60 loons minus 0 0.5. Remember 0 0.5 is the value that we're testing against. We want to know is the mercury content above 0 0.5 parts per million. We then divide by the standard deviation, 0 0.399, divided by the square root of 60, the number of samples we have. When we do this, we'll get 0 0.04 in the numerator, and we'll get 0 0.0515 in the denominator. And then when we do it all, uh, we'll get 0 0.7767. And that's our value of t, or our t statistic. Now what does this mean? Now we can go and look up at the t table to see what our results are. When we do that, we're going to compare our value 0 0.7767, which we just found, with the value from the t table. If we look up the value for the t table, at a level of significance of 0 0.05 and a degrees of freedom of 60, we find 1.671. And so we can say that since 0 0.7767 is less than 1.671, we fail to reject the claim at alpha of 0 0.05 or a level of significance at 0 0.05. So what does that mean in real terms? We can write out that we could say there is not enough evidence to say that mercury concentrations are significantly greater than 0 0.5 parts per million. And so that should give you some pause. You should be curious about that result. What that says is that we don't have enough evidence to say that mercury contents are greater than 0 0.5 parts per million. But remember, our sample mean was even greater than. Uh, 0.05 parts per million. It was 0 0.54 parts per million. But the key here is that we're looking at the uh, significant difference. And so we don't have enough evidence to say that mercury concentrations are significantly greater than 0 0.5 parts per million, even though our sample mean was slightly greater than that. And this is really the value of statistical tests and the value of hypothesis testing.